If you had any school-related freakouts last year, these tips are for you. These new habits can change your whole approach to your kids' homework, effort in the classroom, and future goals. And they can create a happier household too, my friend. I will be sharing some school resolutions to make to yourself and your family to ensure a smooth back-to-school transition. And oh, by the way, if you'd like to subscribe to our podcast, simply click on the subscribe button on the left menu and enter in your information and you'll be all set. More to come in a moment. Welcome to episode 92 of the Teacher Rockstar Podcast, a place where tips and strategies critical to the new teacher are discussed. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about back-to-school promises to make to your children. I will be sharing eight specific promises that you need to make to your children. Uh, Number one, I won't try to do everything, okay, Uh, though it may be oftentimes tempting to do so. While it may be, like I said, tempting to become a super parent at the beginning of the year, it's generally unhealthy to be so micromanaging and engaged. Children pick up on a lot of signs from their parents, and if you're stressed from trying to do more than you can or trying to do too many things at once, they're going to be stressed as well. Point number two, I'll praise effort not intelligence. Now, this will give kids a healthy understanding of a good work ethic, while letting them know raw talent is not the only thing valued in our society. Okay? All right, let's uh, talk about uh, point number three. I'll focus on the moment rather than the future. Okay? Back to school season is a time of uncertainty. This can create worry and anxiety for both you and your kids. Consider writing down your worries and look back at them in a few days, a few weeks, even after a few months. Many times they don't even come true. Now, before we proceed further, let's pause for a word from our sponsor. Would you like to supercharge your classroom management skills? Are you interested in one-to-one teacher coaching or 365 days of email support? and some really super cool bonuses? Well, if you're a teacher with zero to five years of teaching experience, a teacher returning back to the classroom after an extended absence, the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is for you. Gain the confidence, the skills you'll need to crush it on day one and beyond. Enroll now at tra.teacherclassroomresources.com. That's tra teacherclassroomresources.com. Go ahead and invest in yourself, and I assure you this will be a most transformational experience. Okay, moving on. Consider that parents, students, and teachers all put pressure on themselves to have the perfect year, but our imperfections support creativity, innovation, and insight. Remind yourself and your child of this often. And this brings us to point number four. I'll get to know my child's teacher. Now, this is very critical here. Whether you have to volunteer or just send a few emails, make a point to let your teacher know you and your goals for your child, having a relationship with another adult who spends a large amount of time with your child can help both of you, obviously in the long run. And it's a great way for you to gain insight to your child. Number five. I won't do everything for my kids, though as tempting as this may be, uh, as much as you want to shelter and provide for your kids, you also need to help them grow into independent, functioning adults. Give kids responsibilities at home and before and after school. Teachers say that letting kids make their own mistakes clues them into what they need to help with. Uh, If you are, you know, correcting their homework and doing their tasks, you aren't really actually helping them grow at all. Point number six, I'll pull resources with other parents. Make friends with other parents in your child's grade. There are so many ways you can help each other out. Talk about carpooling, for example. Plan backup care on snow days. Look for parents in your neighborhood who have children at the same school or whose children play in the same little league 
and invite them, right, to join you in a carpool. This can reduce stress on all parties and give you a little more free time. Point number seven, my children will earn their own grades. Now, many parents need to resist the urge to correct or complete their child's projects so they get a better grade than they deserve. Children need to display knowledge of what they have been taught, and they should be allowed to feel the pride of accomplishing a task on their own. It's okay to not turn in something perfect. It's okay to fail as long as you learn something from it. Allow your child to learn these things. And our last point, point number eight, I'll have a regular date night. Arranging your life around your kids and job is all well and good, but what about your partner? You too need a little alone time too. Away from the kids and other distractions to reconnect as a couple. Planning date nights is a common resolution at the beginning of the year. But by the time back to school season hits, who has the time? Celebrate the start of the new school year by hiring a babysitter and getting some relationship time with your significant other. Well, there you have it, my friend. And this brings us to the end of this episode. Should you have any questions about the episode, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Also, thanks for listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. We hope you enjoyed listening to these eight tips regarding back-to-school promises to make to your children. When you get a moment, visit my blog and subscribe to my newsletter for the latest educational research, best practices, and unadvertised free bonuses. Simply go to blog.teacherclassroomresources.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us at the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. And if you'd like to support us, please feel free to share our podcast with others. Post about it on social media or leave a rating and review. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this.